Hi, my name is Mike Hold. I am with the Field Support Services Group for NVENT Thermal in North America. And welcome to Raychem Connects, where we connect you to the products. So today's topic is IR testing or insulation resistance testing, or simply measuring, which is the most common phrase used. So why do we measure? Well, we're trying to test the integrity of our SR cable. It's comprised of two polymer jackets, an inside and an outside. And we want to make sure there's no damage done during our installation. So whether it be because it was scraped during the installation against something that was sharp, or maybe that we crushed it and we caused a crack in our polymer jacket or we installed it at colder temperatures. So when we're doing our testing, we're actually putting pressure on the bus wires to leak through the voltage to our bus wire and also our bus wire to our pipe in this case, or, or to ground. So Raychem specs requires testing at three voltages, 500, 1000 and 2500. Now 500,000 always get done, but the 2500 one gets missed quite a bit. And a lot of cables pass at 1000, but they'll fail at 2500. And when we look at our megers, this is a 1 kV megger, small compact, as is this one. So most uh, contractors will have that size. Now, when we get into 2500, we're jumping up in size. This is a 5 kV capable of doing our 2500 test, but it's big, it's a suitcase, and they're very expensive. So a lot of times that 2500 volt does get missed. Now, when we do our testing, we wanna make sure we're doing all three voltages for one minute. And we wanna make sure we're following through on our recording of our values, writing them down. If you look in our manual, you'll see that we require that. That's a Raychem spec. This cable I will test at 500. Now we're gonna assume I've just done this for one minute, just because of time. And we're gonna assume that I've done it for one minute at 1,000. Now, I mentioned earlier about cables failing or passing at 1,000, but failing at 2,500. I'm gonna try and give you an example of that right now. Not sure if you can hear that or not, but there is a failure on my cable. So it passed at 1,000, but it failed at 2,500. The other question that gets asked quite a bit is, how often do you measure? Well, when you're doing a construction job, we do our installation, you will do it at least five times. Once when the cable is shipped to you, you receive it. We want to make sure nothing got damaged during shipping. Number two will be before you do the installation, because you don't want to put a bad cable on a pipe. Number three is after you've done your install to make sure the installation went smooth and good. Number four will be after the installation is installed to ensure nothing happened during that process to damage the cable. Number five will be your courtesy check before you energize. That's Megaring. If you have any further questions, please contact your Raycam rep, go to our website, or look on our manual, lots of useful information. Thank you and have a great day. Invent. We connect and protect.